In this session, I'll show you how to import media from a hard disk. If you want to import video files and create a preview file during import, you must enable an option before importing video files. To do this, choose Keyflow Pro Preferences. The keyboard shortcut is Command Comma, and then click the encoder pane. The encoder pane has various options that relate to video encoding. After enabling the preview option, you can then set the resolution, video, and audio bitrate of the preview video file if needed. When encoding video, Keyflow Pro uses Apple's AV Foundation library by default. AV Foundation supports the playback and encoding of most media formats, such as QuickTime movies and MPEG-4 files. If you want to use MXF files or AVCHD files, you can add another video encoder, FFmpeg. To do this, you need to click on the download link here. After downloading FFmpeg, you can then drag and drop the FFmpeg file into the drop zone here. From now on, all video will be encoded using FFmpeg. Later, if you don't want to use it, you can remove FFmpeg from the drop zone. Simply drag the icon out of the drop zone, then the icon will disappear in a poof of smoke. Now, all video will be encoded using AV Foundation again. You can import media using the Import menu or by dragging files from the Finder. The Import Media window appears. You can select the project into which the media will be imported by choosing an existing project or creating a new project. Next, you can see the capacity per file type. In Filters, you can select file types or enter the file extensions you want to import. As you can see, filtering results are shown in real time. In Import Options, you can proceed with the Copy to Library or Leave Files in Place options. If you want to manage all the media in one place, use the Copy to Library option. This option keeps all media assets online, so you'll be able to use all those media assets more quickly and easily. If you want to manage all the media as is without copying, then use the Leave Files in Place option. When you first choose this option, an alert box pops up. Click OK. You then have to select the root of your system hard drive and then click Allow to get the permission to access the reference files from your volumes. With this option, you can save a lot of storage space required for storing original high-resolution video files. Because preview files are always created inside the Keyflow Pro library, you can search and preview all the media even if the external hard drive on which the original files reside is not connected to your Mac. By the way, when Leave Files in Place option is checked, you can select the Store To option and choose the specific location to store the original media. With this additional option, the imported media is first copied and then indexed to the specific location you set. With this feature, you can manage external media, just like Final Cut Pro X does. By the way, you can set the default option as you want in the general pane in Preferences. Then when you import media, it'll be automatically set as the import option from now on. If required, you can enter the name of the disk label in case you want it to be different than the mounted name. When the Tags option is checked, Keyflow Pro creates a tag for each folder name automatically during import, similar to how Final Cut Pro X handles this. If you want to check media before import, click the Check Media to Import button. You can preview all media using Quick Look, the spacebar, and remove the selected media from the list if you don't want to import it. Also, you can add tags for individual files or multiple files at once. You can see the same tags that you entered in the Finder and add new tags if required. After importing is done, you can see the same tags between Keyflow Pro and the Finder. Now let's import media from a connected camera device. If you connect a camera device, it will automatically appear at the bottom of the sidebar section. You can then import the selected media to a specific project. If the media has GPS info, you can search the media using the location information, such as city name, in the map search menu. For this, your Mac needs to be connected to the internet. Thanks for watching this Keyflow Pro tutorial.